without God, I would be nothing. Yeah. Without God, I would fail. Yeah. Without God, my life would be drifting. Without God, I would fail. Without Because of God, you are something. Not because of your neighbor, not because of your children, especially not because of your enemy. But you, I want to tell you something else. You ain't something because of yourself either. Stop it. Without God, because of God, you are something. Somebody say, power of God Monday night. It's going down. Amen. Believe that. Believe that. I got a, I got a title. I want, I, want you to, I, want to hear, I want you to hear this. I need to send your spirit. And I, again, I want to thank the ministers for giving them a hand one more time. Give them a hand one more time. I need to play something in your spirit. I need to play something in your spirit because I see a lot of doubt in the world. And I see some of that doubt creeping up in the spirit of Jesus. And I, and I see some of that doubt creeping up in the spirit of Jesus. And, and I, want you to, I want you to listen to this. Somebody repeat after me. A commitment, a commitment. that will not fail. Wow. A commitment that will not fail. I mean, how many times have we professed to be committed? How many times have we professed to be committed and we have fallen short? Oh, uh, now come on now. Some of y'all made the New Year re re resolution just three weeks ago and y'all done broke them already. No? Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, I ain't, it's a New Year. I ain't doing this no more. I ain't doing that. And, and, and the year ain't even halfway over yet. Y'all done broke, broke the resolution. Those were commitments that have failed. Every year I go to the gym, I, I get a membership to the gym every year. Every year I go, I got a membership to the gym. Every year they give me that $10 special, Plan Fitness. I go sign up there. Every year. <laughs> and y'all don't believe me now. I pay, I pay $21 a month, $11 for me, $10 for her, and, and I think, what, the two and the one, if you put them together, we might go three times. <laughs> Oh, she go. Sometimes she might have went about ten, but I I might have went one. <laughs> so I went and bought some bicycles. I bought those about I bought those about six six months ago, and I said I'm gonna ride the bicycle. Me and Fern later on the, 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 the together the first day, and she ride it by herself. I ride it by myself. But all together, I bet we rode them ten times. <laughs> Commitments that will not fail. Yes, yes. Commitments. That will not, if you have your Bible, I want you to go to Deuteronomy for me. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6. Commitments that will not fail. Who is the brother right here? I, 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 I want to welcome to the. Give us great Jesus walk right here. This brother right here. I, I don't know who he is, but, but you know what? I'm glad you're here tonight, all right? Thank you. What's your name, bro? Aaron Bryan. Aaron, uh, brother Bryan, we say, you enjoying yourself? Yes. We just have, we just do what we do over here. Like, like Mother Daniel would say, we have more church by accident than more people have on purpose. So don't, don't pay us no mind. We just doing what we do. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. What's up, lady? I know how to praise God. Oh, who is that young lady right now? Come on, Dad. You know this is young lady you met today? Amen. You know, you, know, you know you pray. You can't bring people over here. I try to, I try to hook everybody who come in the door. You know that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Do the run of the six. If you that, say amen. Amen. If you're not, say wait. Oh, wow. I didn't get away. All right, Deuteronomy 6, the word of God reads. These are the commands and decrees and regulations that the Lord, your God, commanded me to teach you. You must obey them in the land you're about to enter and occupy. And you and your children and grandchildren must fear the Lord, your God, as long as you live. If you obey all his decrees and commands, you will enjoy a long what? Life. Listen 
closely. Do what? Listen what? Closely, Israel. And be careful to obey. Then all will go well with you and you and your... Oh, I like this part. And you will have many children in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors promised you. Listen, O Israel. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must, 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 you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul. And all your strength. Yes. And you must commit, oh my God, yes. yourselves yes. Yes. Come on, wholeheartedly yes. to these commands that I'm giving you today. Yes. Yes. Repeat them, repeat them, repeat them again and again and again and again yes. to your children. Yes. We talked about that yesterday. Yes. Yes. What are you repeating to the babies? That's why they babies. Yes. What are you repeat? What are you showing them? Huh? When I see a lot of little babies running around, I know there's a big baby somewhere. Hello, somebody. <laughs> what are you? What are you showing these babies? Praise the Lord. And he said, and you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to these commands I am giving you, and repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you're on the road. And when you're going to bed, and when you're getting up, a commitment that cannot fail. A commitment, a commitment unto you. God has given you a commitment that 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 has not failed you. I, I remember, I remember when I would when, when I would lose someone in my family. Oh my God! I just thought I was never going to be able to live. I just thought it was I was gonna I I just I can't go on. But because of God's commitment me commitment to me, I'm still here. Amen. I have days when I think about it and, and guess what? I, I feel bad a little bit, but the closer I got to God, the better I feel about my loved ones who come. You know me. The closer I got to God, I, I, now because when I got when I when I got with God, Sister Pam, I found out something. Anything that's committed to God gonna live forever because that's God's commitment to us. A commitment that cannot fail. So my thing is, you better hear this now. And, 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 and my brother might not, he might leave here tomorrow, but I want to be so committed to God that. That, that 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 I have positioned myself where God can't tell me no. Oh, yes. I, I, I have been, I have, I've been, whatever God asked me to do, I've gone wherever God wanted me to go. I've always said yes to God, no matter, thank you, Sister Leo, I, no matter where God wanted me to go, no matter what God wanted me to do, I always said yes. How do I say yes? Did I like it all the time? No, but I never complain. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 He has Bitch, too good to you. Yes, yes. 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 Stop it right now. Thank you, Lord. Sit yourself down and don't wait for nobody to spank you. You spank your own self. Don't you wait for nobody to spank you. As committed as God has been to you. A commitment that has not failed you. Yes. I mean, think about think about your worst hour. Oh yes. I done had so many of them. Hallelujah. Yes. Y'all wanna know my worst hour? Speak. My worst hour was, was the hour my auntie would make me wait in the room when she told me she was gonna whoop me. <laughs> Ain't nothing like waiting on a whoop. <laughs> Tell the truth. Ooh, wait, wait, wait on the Lord. Ain't nothing like y'all. Come on now, the weight was worse than a whooping. Am I, am I on this one? Ain't nothing like boy looking sitting in that room, sitting there, knowing 
them licks coming, knowing how they gonna feel, ain't nothing like and boy, she be out there watching her, watching Dynasty or something. I said, Lord Jesus. And, 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 then, and, then, and then as soon as Dynasty go off, she she get she she go to watch a, a picture that will make her mad. I said, Lord, don't let Peyton Place come on tonight. Cause Peyton Place come on tonight. She be mad by when Peyton Place go off. Boy, and now I'm already in sit waiting, and now she in the watching Peyton Place. I know it's gonna go down on me. She always watched, every time she would make me wait, Brother Barry, she watched one of her soap operas that would make her mad. I said, Lord Jesus, why it had to be a paint plate? <laughs> but I tell you, she was committed. Once she told you to go wait, she was committed to, to chastising you. And the reason you know that she was committed to chastising you and not beating you because one thing about a beating, a beating is done out of emotion. A chastisement is done out of love. A beating is done out of emotion. So when she would make me wait, I knew she loved me. Because yes. that one time she get that room now, I remember one time I was, I was, she get that room, she hit me for real. I said, Lord, gee, that was a beating. <laughs> But most times she would make me wait, and when she made me wait, I knew she was not emotional. I knew she was trying to teach me something. And what she was doing in the process of waiting, she was making me think not one time, not two times, not ten times, but a hundred times of how I'm not going to do this no more, so I'm going to be sitting here waiting no more. Y'all not with me? See, 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 you got to understand, it ain't about, it ain't about beating. When you when you beat somebody, you beat them, say you beat them, and y'all set them up to beat them again. But when you when you are disciplined and chastising somebody, you are teaching them. Yes. 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 So she would sit me in that room, and I never knew it. But when I was sitting in that room, I would I would suffer, and I try to figure out how not to get back in this place. Right. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Amen. See, like, I wasn't like, I wasn't like, like Lady Helen. Lady Helen was a little girl, and she, she, she would wait a calls. <laughs> she, she, see, she, 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 we be out, we be at the club. I said, baby, you know your mama told you, you know, we were best friends, we were dating. And I, I said, you know your mama told you to be home at one o'clock. She said, well, I'll take that woman. This body's so good. Let's just keep you going. Let's just. <laughs> I said, Lord have mercy. No mama flaw was gonna kill her, but she would wait a calls. But the bottom line is what I'm trying to tell you is when somebody loves you, they're committed to your betterment. Yes. Mr. Robinson is committed to your betterment. Amen. I don't care what goes on in your life, I don't see nothing bad that you do because you know what? For me to see bad, bad got to live in me. That's right. That's right. For me to see sin, sin got to live in me. You cannot pass out. You cannot pass out what ain't in you. Come on, somebody. That's right. And you ain't got nothing love in you. When you see somebody that's going through, they're not right, you know, and you're committed to God, you're committed to love, you can't love and hate at the same time. If there's any hate in you, there's no love in you. That's right. I, I need you right now. I need you. I need you to understand. God said, tell, tell, tell your children. And you know, when I when I hear the word children, it was right there, we think about we get worldly. Come on. We get worldly. We're going to think about when Nisi's my daughter, he's my son, Minister Valley's my daughter. No. A child is one that does not know. Oh, yeah. That's right. Tell someone who don't know what real love is over and over and over and over that you love them. Yeah. A child is one that yeah. does not know. That's right. And I get so angry with y'all when y'all assuming when people do stupid things, you're assuming that they know. Do you really think they make themselves look stupid if they knew better? Come on, man. They don't know. Come on, they are your children. They are the ones you're supposed to teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They simply don't know. Come on, man. True. Hallelujah. They simply don't know. Thank you. God said, you're innocent. How do you think he keeps forgiving you over and over and over? Because he knows you're innocent. You don't know no better than to hurt yourself. See, and I hear, well, I don't hurt myself. Oh, yes, you do. 
every time you hurt somebody else, you hurt yourself. All right. Glory. Glory to God. God said, better that you be the least instead of trying to be the more because the more is the one that's going to pay the price. That's right. He said, because what you do unto the least of mine. Yeah, come on, come on. Huh? Yes, sir. See, y'all see, y'all, y'all, still get your head knocked off because you want to be more. You want to be better. You want to be up here instead of down here. God said, you the one that's taking advantage of my least because you think you know more. You think you know more. So you keep getting your head knocked off because you think you know more. But notice what God says here. He said, these are my decrees and regulations. I love it. I love it. See, I take the Old Testament and I bring it into where I am right now. I take the New Testament and I bring it to where I am right now. So the Old and New is the same to me because all that matters to me is being with God when? All that matters to me is being with God. So if I read the Old Testament, I bring it to where I am right now. I read the New Testament, I read the way I am right now. And listen to what it says about where I am right now. He said, these are the commands, decrees, and regulations that the Lord your God commanded me to teach you. Man, you come on. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. How many commandments are there? I'm sorry. Ten. There were ten commandments. And then they asked God what was the two greatest commandments. And then he said, "There's I leave with you a new commandment. So ten commandments, two commandments, one, ten, two, one, another. Y'all got ten, two, one, another. He said, I leave with you a new commandment. Love your brothers and sisters as I have loved you. And in doing so, you'll show the world that you are not just my disciple, but a disciple of truth. He said, truly my disciple. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said, you'll show the world that you are not just a disciple, but a disciple of truth. Yes. A disciple that is committed. Yes. See, when I am committed, there's nothing but truth that shall come out of me. Come on, somebody. Yes. 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 I can't, I can't, I can't say nobody with a lie. I can't say nobody with a fake a moment. Come on, somebody. All these fake a moments walking around here. Yeah, you can't. Come on. Why don't you give me your fake a moment? Uh -huh. I don't know you yet. Ain't nobody want to talk no, about no testimony because a testimony only talks about, the only test I'm concerned about is the test you couldn't pass. Yeah. Uh -huh. The only test you need help with is the test you couldn't pass. Uh -huh. So if you need help with a test that you couldn't pass, God said that's the test I'm going to use to help somebody. Yeah. I need to talk about the test you couldn't pass than the test you couldn't pass. And that is the test you need help with. The test that's the that you could not pass. The one you could not pass. Come on. Come on now. The one you needed help with. Yeah. Yeah. That's the test I'm going to use yes. to help somebody. Come on now. Yes. But y'all want to run around here talking about all the A's y'all made. I need to know about them else. Come on now. Come on now. I need to know about them D's. Come on. Come on. Them, them else with them fake them on this. Yeah. And them D's with them dumb them on this. <laughs> not them dumb them on dumb them on this. <laughs> a dumb them on y'all know what a dumb them on is? Yeah. A dumb them on is one who thinks he knows more than God, or as much as God, or got it together like God. You better walk up out of here with your dumb them on it. Hey? Your fake ammonia and your dumb ammonia. I need your testimony. Come on, somebody. And I need to know the test that you could not pass. God says, he says clearly here, he said, you must obey what I teach you. Love your brothers and sisters. He said that's all that matters. What, what's the first commandment? Anybody know the first commandment? Huh? Love God. With all your heart, all your might, all your strength, and all your soul. What's the second? Love your. Amen. And then, so what is, what is the commandment? What is the commandment? Okay, love. So now, what makes it plural? I gotta apply it to everybody I see. There's one commandment. What makes it plural is I must apply to everyone. There's only one thing that matters to God. There's only one thing that's going to keep you out. Your cigarettes ain't going to keep you out of heaven. It's your hate or your lack of love. Period. What is hate, somebody? What is hate according to God? No, hate is wrong. 
And what, what is love? Right. Love is right. Okay. Hated, according to God, God don't care about your sins. He said, all that mess you run around there letting these people tell you you're going to hell because of your sin. You're going to hell because you hate somebody. A commitment. A commitment that cannot fail. Thank you, Holy And the commitment is God's love has not failed you. When you see something working, but when you see something working, why don't you pick it up and work it? If you see God's love working in your life, why don't you pick it up and work it in everybody's life that you run into? When you see something working. Come here, Troy. Come here, Troy. Come here, Troy. Troy, here, hey, I got something for you, Troy. Hey, Troy. Hey, Troy. You want that? You want that? Say, yeah. You want that? Huh? See, Troy, want this? Y'all know? You want that, Troy? You want it for real? Want some more? Huh? Okay. You want that? You want that, Troy? Huh? Y'all see that? What do you say? He ain't got to say that right like I'm here for a message. Go over there. I'm sorry. Do what your mama tell you, because you'll live a long time. <laughs> hey, do y'all see what he did? Huh? He didn't add the bishop that was more crack. He didn't add the bishop that was more marijuana. He didn't add the bishop that was a lie. He didn't add the bishop was a bishop a whoremonger. He took the money, just like y'all do. If I bring enough to y'all, y'all won't care what I do either. <laughs> The gift that I got for you, the gift of eternal life, life I'll wrap it up in something that you don't want to have nothing to do with. Oh, Ignorant unto yourself. Ain't that it? I didn't say it. I'm working. God is working on me. God is working on me. He's working on me. He's working, working on me. Praise the Lord. The people that are going to label me. Uh, he, uh, he working on me. Right. Notice what he says. He says, listen closely. Israel, you chosen people. If you are breathing, God chose you not just to live, but to be a vessel that he wants to love and pass love through. Yes. 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 Simplify your life. God wants to pass something through you, and it is what, 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 in order to pass the love of God through you, you've got to be willing to be void of hate. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm going to tell you something. And I'm saying it with all the love of my heart. Brother Turner, Brother Turner gets so mad with himself when he be leaving his church sometimes. He be riding by himself. Because he, I'm taking away, every time he walk in the door, I take away a little bit more of his anger. I take away a little bit more of his anger. He don't even know I see it. Amen. I take a little, little bit more of his anger. The night he just, he, it looks like he is angerless. Amen. All right now, I say look like. <laughs> You choke my chosen people, then all will go well with you, and you will have many children, you will have many opportunities, huh? To help those who don't know. Oh, yes. yes. And guess what he says? He said, he says, he said, in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promise. How many people ever had one person, be honest, never break a promise? Anybody? I, I, I don't do that. I, I, I ain't going to put that pressure on nobody else. How many people here ain't never broke a promise? That's what I'm saying? So, if I know somebody that's a promise keeper, and I was and I get committed to him. Guess what he'll make me? He'll make me what I can't make myself a keeper of promises too. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. He'll make me what I can't make myself a keeper of promises too. But it takes a wholehearted commitment. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Well, let's back up and go home. God bless everybody. I'm through. God bless you. I pray that you're blessed tonight. I pray that you were blessed tonight. It takes a wholehearted commitment. It takes a whole. How many people say, I, I am going to give God all that I can give? Yes. Repeat after me. I'm going to give God all that I can give with what he's equipped me with. I will not be hard on myself. Because if I cannot do it, I now realize I am innocent because God has not yet equipped me. Y'all hear that? Get committed to knowing that God, love is going to take care of what he created. Love created you. Love is going to take care of you. Everybody get a gift out. We're going home.